Well, the biggest question I get from baby boomers and older is how do we maximize our health and longevity? Uh, I'm not happy with, you know, everybody in my family died in their 60s. I'm not happy with everybody in my family dying in their 70s. What can I do to live well beyond 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160? How do I do that? People do it all the time. The oldest person in the world right now is um, a guy from Bolivia uh, up at um, the uh, Lake Titicaca, 13,000 feet elevation, and he's never been to a doctor, has no health insurance, uh, and yet he's 123 years old and he's still herding sheep 12 hours a day, seven days a week. So what is it that, that makes this happen? Well, I want you to, to go out of your way to get several bits of information. You've got to educate yourself here. Uh, the basic book, of course, is Rare Earth Forbidden Cures. And I'll tell you about why that's a basic book for this information in just a second. Rare Earth Forbidden Cures. Get that from your Yongevity Associate. Immortality. Again, basic information. And then there's three CDs, From Here to Immortality, What Kills Billionaires, and Dial MD for Murder. Now, this covers all the stuff. Uh, number one, you need to avoid all the bad things, the ongoing damage. Secondly, you need to give yourself all the things you need to maintain yourself and repair yourself. Uh, we're talking about um, everything from a hummingbird, all vertebrates, whether you're a hummingbird or a human being or an elephant or a giraffe or a polar bear or whatever, penguin, all vertebrates require all 90 essential nutrients each day, just like oxygen and water, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. It's just a little too casual to say, well, I'm eating well. I eat the four food groups. I have four different colors on my plate. I eat a lot of variety. I get the highest quality food. I eat organic. That's not enough. It doesn't even come close. So we have a new book coming out to add to this armamentarium here. Rare Earths Been Cures, Immortality, and the Three CDs, From Here to Immortality, What Kills Billionaires, and Dial MD for Murder. Get the book when it comes out. We're talking a couple of months here. This is being published by a big New York publishing house, and so you can be watching for all kinds of advertisements, uh, interviews, TV, radio, newspapers. I mean, this will be a big hoo-ha, okay? Big deal. Um, Epigenetics is the title of the book, the new one coming out, Epigenetics. The subtitle is The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission. The death of the genetic theory of disease transmission. How crazy is that? Well, this is 35 years of work since it, uh, I discovered the first non-human case of cystic fibrosis in a monkey, which is supposed to be a, a genetically transmitted disease only found in white Eastern Europeans, only in humans, never in animals. And I tracked it back to, no doubt about it, drop dead, predictable as gravity, a deficiency of a single mineral selenium. Same thing with muscular dystrophy. That's why Jerry Lewis isn't doing the telethons anymore. He got fired by taking my information to the Muscular Dystrophy Foundation Medical Committee. And because he insisted they look at my material, the Muscular Dystrophy Foundation fired Jerry Lewis. They fired Jerry Lewis. Okay, that's how crazy this is getting. So, epigenetics, look for the book. Epigenetics, the subtitle is The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission. Now, you're going to be in control here. You're going to be in control of the vertical, the horizontal, okay, uh, just like the old Twilight Zone stuff. And this is very exciting because you're in control. If you don't want to live to be 100, don't pay attention to any of this. If you do want to stack things in your favor to live to be 100, you have to be obsessive about this. People, I don't care if I'm eating with kings and queens, the president of the United States, I take my 90 for Life supplements with every meal. I, you know, kind of am at the peak of the bell-shaped curve. I don't underdose, which gets me in trouble. I don't overdose, which gets me in trouble. But I do take several times the minimum daily requirement. That's why it's called minimum daily requirement. Why not take the optimal amount? So I know the bell-shaped curve for each of these 90 essential nutrients. And so I take the optimal amounts of each one. And this is all in the book Epigenetics. It's based on actually, uh, let's see, 42 and 13. Uh, we're talking about 45 years of detailed nutritional research, okay, on this stuff. This is like crazy stuff. Nobody else has this information, so I want you to contact your longevity associate and ask for, again, the book Rare Earths Have Been Cures, the book Immortality, and the CDs From Here to Immortality, the CD What Kills Billionaires, and the CD Dial MD for Murder, and look for the book coming out here in a couple of months, Epigenetics. The subtitle is The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission. If you're not already in the 90 for Life program, contact your longevity associate. Get on the very basic program, the 90 for Life, one um, one healthy start pack per 100 pounds of body weight. You cannot fail to do yourself good. Okay, you cannot fail to do yourself good by taking one healthy start pack per 100 pounds of body weight per month. You weigh 200 pounds? I'd say if you weigh 150 pounds to 200 pounds, 210 pounds, 
take two of those healthy starter packs. You weigh 250 to 300 pounds, take three per month, right? It's per body weight. It's calculated to do by body weight, just like we do in animals. Remember, I'm a veterinarian and a physician. And many advantages we have in the animal industry, number one, we don't have health insurance. That is an advantage, which means we have to find the answer to the problem because we can't afford to treat a dog or a cow or a horse or a sheep or a pig or a chicken for 25 years for the same disease. Otherwise, a dozen eggs would cost you 500 bucks. And so to keep everything down to where it's it's affordable, we just cure the diseases in animals. We prevent the diseases in animals. And so I picked up that concept 66 years ago, began doing that with humans 66 years ago. And you say, well, Wallach, you, you sound like you're 50 years old. Well, most people think I am 50 years old when they look at me. They say, gosh, Wallach, you look like you're 50. But in the Chinese numbers, I'm going on 75. In American numbers, I'm 74. You take your pick. I'll go with the Chinese. <laughs> Well, stick with us. We'll be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Young Jivity Way on Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Okay, we have Billy sitting in today. Billy, uh, what uh, pearls of wisdom do you have for us? You know, I wish I had sitting in front of me a gigantic raspberry noise because I, uh, I, would, I would fire that noise, that sound effect, if I had it. So think of the giant raspberry noise. <laughs> there you go. Well, listen, uh, this drug company, and I'm going to leave it unnamed because I don't have the substantiated material in front of me. I heard this report this morning on National Public Radio, and I'm I'm re-reporting this from memory. NPR this morning reported that uh, a drug company has come up with a cure for hepatitis C. It is a pill. I can't remember the name of the drug. Actually, I can't pronounce it anyway. But they have come up with a thing that kills the hep C virus outright. It takes about six months. You take one pill a day, and at the end of this thing, the, the virus is completely eradicated. They've, they've come up with the trials already, and the drug apparently works. Here's the downside of this. This drug will cost $1,000 a tablet, and you will have to take one tablet a day for six months. If you do the math, it comes out to $89,000. Now, here's the deal. To produce the drug, now that they've done all the research, to produce the drug would cost for that same six-month period somewhere between $275 and $400. So that's why I think this drug company should get a gigantic raspberry. Now, in (laughs) in full disclosure, Doc... They did, uh, this This drug company acquired a smaller drug company to do the research on this hep C cure. And apparently the cost of buying the smaller drug company was somewhere around a billion dollars. So they have a lot of money invested in this cure for hepatitis C, granted. But do they have to make it all back in like one year? It, it just, I mean, the more people suffer from hep C around the world about three times more than people who suffer from AIDS. That's how big the hep C epidemic in the world is. So they're going to make their money back eventually. But it just seems to me like these guys are, uh, to say that they're gouging the public is an understatement. Oh, by the way, we will pay the $1,000 a pill in the United States, but in third world countries where most of the hep C is reported, they'll only have to pay a fraction of that. They'll probably only pay 50 bucks a pill. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pick up the tab. And, of course, that's uh, the usual way it is. And, of course, uh, number one, if you stay clear of um, IV drugs, stay away from unprotected sex with people you don't know. Uh, If you run into somebody, say, you know, let's all go get a blood test for hep C and HIV and stuff like that before we jump into bed together. I mean, in these days and times, it's very reasonable to get the results back in a couple of days. It's not like you have to wait a year for the information. In the meantime, use protected sex. This is all just wise, you know, wise information. And <clears throat> uh, basically, I've had many, many, I don't know, hundreds of people, maybe more than that, uh, who've had hep C, liver cirrhosis, or on the liver transplant list. And we put them on a special diet, get rid of all the bad things that put pressure in the liver. No alcohol, no fried foods, no processed meats, no deli slices, sandwich meats, sausage, ham, bacon, bologna, salami, pastrami, pepperoni, jerky, all that kind of stuff. 
Stay away from oils, no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils. If you eat canned fish, you got to be packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, and oil. No gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats, nothing inflammatory. And then if they need to take the 90 essential nutrients appropriate for body weight. The health, say the healthy start pack, uh, one per 100 pounds of body weight per month. And then you throw in the, the, the liver supporting stuff. Okay, we're talking about selenium. I'd have them take three of our ultimate selenium twice a day. Um, to support liver function, liver health. And then the de-stress capsule, three of those twice a day um, per 100 pounds of body weight. And we've gotten so many people off the liver transplant list, even with chronic hep C. And I would also throw in Killer Biotic, which is an herbal blend that supports the immune system when you have all these kind of weird viral and bacterial things. And they're still alive here 8, 10, 12, 15, 20 years later with no complications. It's like half the cost of a cup of coffee. Of a thousand dollars a day. Hello? Thank you for that one, Billy. And we'll be back after these messages. Okay, Billy, let's go to callers. All right, Doc, let's head to Virginia and Bruce. You're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Bruce, you're on the air. Yes, I'm interested in finding out how to reverse um, pancreatic cancer. Okay, is this for yourself or somebody else? For myself. Okay. Uh, Bruce, uh, when were you diagnosed? Um, three weeks ago. Okay. And how old are you, sir? Sixty. Sixty? Okay. And how much do you weigh? Two hundred. All right. Do you have any other issues I need to know about, like diabetes or respiratory problems or skin problems or anything like that? High blood pressure. Okay. Um, I have ringing in the ear. And I have, um, I, I have allergy when I, um, coming to cold weather that runs across my head. Okay. Uh, now, you're talking about like a headache or congestion or? Uh, sinus. Sinus, okay. Did you ever have any skin problems as a kid, like eczema or dermatitis or psoriasis? No, sir. I have night sweats. Okay. What about uh, asthma or anything like that, chronic bronchitis? No, sir. Okay. And even... Uh, in the last year, you haven't been diagnosed with any skin problems or constipation or diarrhea or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. How did you get diagnosed with pancreatic cancer? Did you go in uh, just for a regular physical, or did you have blood in your bowel movement, or what? Um, they were noticing I get blood work on a regular basis, and they were concerned about something within my blood work that wasn't right. So okay. that led to one, that led to one um, type of um, 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 test. Uh, Yes, test to another test until they took the test to find out that they okay. took my pancreas. They took 12 samples, and seven of them, they say, came back um, positive. Seven out of- okay. All right, well, let's get to work here. And I'm sure they've told you that pancreatic cancer is a very dangerous type of cancer. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Ultimately, that's what killed Steve Jobs. Okay. Um, <clears throat> very dangerous type of cancer. And medical treatment does not do a very good job with it, okay? Um, And so you're right to seek other things, either do it along with the standard medical treatment or even without it. That's up to your choice, okay? But at 200 pounds, what I would do, first of all, you got to change your diet because your diet contributed to you getting this disease. I'd have you get rid of all the inflammatory things. Stay away from all the fried foods. I mean, nothing fried. I don't care if it's stir-fried with extra, extra virgin, virgin olive oil or coconut oil. No oils. No margins, no mayonnaise, no salad dressings, no cooking oils. If you eat canned fish, you got to be packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, not oils. No gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Now hang on. We'll be back with you here, Bruce, in a few minutes. Get your pen and paper because now we're going to give you the supplement program to support your immune system and support pancreatic health after these messages. Okay, uh, Billy, let's go right back to Virginia and Bruce. Okay, we've gotten rid of all the bad stuff. We've changed the diet. I do want you to eat uh, four to five, six eggs a day. Poach, soft boil with soft yolks, uh, soft scramble in butter, not cooked in any margin or oils. Got to keep your protein levels up uh, for your immune system. Then I'd like you to uh, take for 200 pounds, I'd like you to take uh, two healthy start packs per month. That's uh, one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner. I want you to take nine of our Ultimate Selenium a day, three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner. That's three bottles a month of our Ultimate Selenium, three of those capsules at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'd also like you to 
um, get a hold of the Z radical, Z like zebra dash radical. It's a liquid. It's a blend of several super juices. Plus, it, it has fucoid in it, which is a legendary um, substance. It's extracted from a red marine algae uh, uh, from off the shores of Tasmania on, on the eastern shores of uh, Australia. And now, this stuff actually supports your immune system when you have uh, severe disease like cancer and lupus and that kind of stuff. And uh, it also uh, encourages stem cells to repair things that are damaged. So it's a very exciting product, Z Radical. And then we have a new one coming out here. I can't dis- uh, release the name of it now, but we're talking in three days this product will be out. And so at that point, you want to listen for it, and you want to get on. I- I'd go ahead and take eight of those capsules a day or tablets, or actually tablets, I'd take two of those tablets twice a day for four. You're in a position where you really need to take eight a day, so I would take, like, three at breakfast, uh, three at lunch, and two at dinner, or some combination to get eight a day. So you're looking at two bottles a month of this new product. I apologize, I'm, I'm under penalty of torture if I reveal the name of it before um, three days from now. So just look for it when it comes out. You need to jump on that one because you're the perfect person to in- include this in your program. Keep in touch with us, Bruce, every couple of weeks. Bring us up to date. Okay, Billy, we got time to go for another one? Yes, sir. Let's uh, go to uh, Southern California. We'll talk to Doris. Doris, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hi. Hello, Doris, you're on the air. Yes. Um, my question, I have a, my son is 45. He's on um, dialysis like three times a week. His kidneys are totally spelling him, and he just looks horrible, and I'm really concerned about him. Okay, does he have also diabetes or any other disease we need to know about? He has high blood pressure. Okay, well, that usually goes along with kidney failure, okay. Anything yeah. else, any skin problems or chronic asthma? Or... Um, no. Okay, doesn't have any eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? No. Okay. Uh, how much does your son weigh? He weighs about um, 300. Okay, so he's a big fella. How tall is he? A big guy. Uh, 6'2". Okay. Yeah, so he's close to, you know, 80 to 100 pounds overweight uh, for his uh, height. Uh, I like to see somebody 6'2", maybe 200 pounds, 210 pounds if it's all muscle kind of stuff. And But he does not have any diabetes or uh, other than high blood pressure. He doesn't have any high, uh, diabetes or skin problems, a history of asthma. At one point, he did have diabetes, but it got under control. Okay, so he does have type 2 diabetes, but he, I mean, he's taking medication. Um, he's not anymore. Okay, i got to run to a break here, ma'am, so hang on. Get your pen ready, and Char and I will be back, and we'll give you some suggestions on what to do here. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, uh, Billy, let's go right back to California here. And Doris and her son. Okay, Char, are you there? I'm here. Okay, kiddo. Um, let's see. Uh, this guy... Um, as a big fellow, and let's go with the ideal here. The ideal? Uh, and Doris, if, if um, this is, you know, uh, price uh, prohibitive, you can cut a third of it off. But we're going to go ahead and give you the ideal amount for a 300-pound guy. And if you can only afford two instead of three, that's fine. It's just going to take a little longer to get the result. But uh, optimally, he'd want three of everything. So, Shar, what would you do for somebody who has type 2 diabetes, which is, quote, under control, unquote, with medication, high blood pressure, and kidney failure? Well, optimally, he should take one or two of the blood sugar packs a month and, and one healthy start pack, three, three packs, any combination, really. But he needs to get the blood sugar pack for the diabetes. And then he needs to take the ultimate daily to get the diabetes, or the, excuse me, the um, the kidney problem under control. The ultimate daily will open up the ferrant arteries in the kidney and take care of that problem. Oh, can also support healthy blood pressure levels, right? Right. And he needs probably, he should take a minimum of a nine ultimate daily a day, which you've got to buy separate. Exactly. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so the ultimate daily is going to take two bottles a month to get the nine tablets a day, three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner. And as Char says, the ultimate daily tablets are designed to support and promote healthy blood flow through obstructed arteries, even the microscopic afferent arteries in the kidney that deliver the dirty blood to the filter unit called the glomeruli. Then also, the, the um, ultimate daily tablets support healthy blood pressure levels. Now, um, uh, 
Char was, I, I'd give her an A, okay, when it comes to how much. I, I would give your son three of the, just make it real simple, three of the healthy blood sugar packs per month. That way he could have 12 of the, um, uh, 12 of the um, sweeties a day, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and um, that's going to help him wean off his medication. It's going to help him lose some weight. Also, it's going to allow him to have three ounces a day, which is also going to contribute to healthy blood pressure, three ounces a day of the Osteo FX Plus, one at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And she said two of the, the healthy start packs, and so that would have covered that anyway. And then uh, two scoops of the Beyond Tain Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Three of the EFA pluses, the omega-3 essential fatty acids, sixes and nines, and optimal ratios. Three at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then, of course, the 12 of the sweeties a day, four at breakfast, four at lunch, four at dinner. And um, let's go with that. And, again, if, if finances uh, are a, um, a restricting um, factor here, go with two, like Char suggested. You can always cut back to two, and so that would be one-third off. But I, ideally, it would be three. And I want you to call us every two weeks. I want to know your son's blood pressure because he can begin to begin, as his blood pressure drops, even on medication, he can begin to wean off his blood pressure medication. I wouldn't drop it suddenly or just cold turkey. Same way with his um, blood um, uh, sugar medication for his diabetes. He's got to take his fasting blood sugar every morning before he medicates himself. And as his blood sugar is dropping, he can lower his medication as he's been taught to do by his doctor. Now, he'll begin to lose a little bit of weight just on this whole program, and his dialysis um, clinic is going to say, well, wait a minute here. We might be able to cut him back after a couple of weeks to a couple of months on this program. They should be cutting him back on the number of dialysis therapies he needs, and eventually the goal here is to wean him off of dialysis, but it's all going to be done by the numbers. Okay, the, the clinic will tell you when it's time for him to back off the number of dialysis. Keep in touch. Uh, we deal with this sort of situation every day. And we're just blessed to seeing for 35 years people respond remarkably well. So please do contact us and bring us up to date. Okay, Billy, let's go to another caller. All right, let's head across the Great Pond to Germany. Gottfried has a question for you about somebody with a traumatic injury. Gottfried, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Gottfried, you're on the air. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm very grateful for the family of uh, Yonjiviti, including you. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're very grateful for you, Gottfried. What's up? Um, just uh, two or three days ago, a very famous guy had a crash on a skiing resort. Okay. I understand his brain damage and um, he had a bleeding and all the, he can't talk, he can't move. And these MDs are fiddling with him. And uh, I just okay. want to know whether uh, How old is this can person? help him. How old is this person? Uh, 45, I think. Okay. I think you know, I think you know him. Okay. The famous guy is uh, this Michael Schumacher of the driving. Oh, the driver. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if we can't save him. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he's got head trauma, and he yeah. can't talk. Is he able to walk around or just no, can't nothing. talk? No, nothing. He's uh, nothing. totally paralyzed or something like that. Okay, so he's a, a quadriplegic from the neck down? Yeah. Okay. So I've actually had patients like this who were told they were going to die within five years now it's gosh, this, it's twenty this years lady later. Is cured in Utah. Yeah, exactly. You know the guy, Terry. Yeah, exactly. He, he he's out there. He actually wins international and national um, uh, crap shooting with twelve gauge shotguns. I talk about hand eye coordination, right? So anyway, we have some experience with this. Okay, so um, what does he weigh? Do you know? Um, I mean, I said uh, from La Wandre, I think he might be in his. Uh... 140 or 150 or something. Like okay. Okay, well, what I'd um, suggest for him is, um, obviously, we got to watch it. He's got to stay away from things like Insure. All these food replacers are probably feeding him either intravenously or through a nasal tube or a gastric tube. The thing we want to keep him away from are these things like Insure that are made from corn oil and soy oil. Those things got to stay away. I'd rather have him use our protein drink called Slender FX. It's a meal replacer. Uh, have him make it with heavy whipping cream and throw in four eggs. I want him to have 12 eggs a day. Uh, you can whip them up and put them through whatever, you know, nasal gastric tube or G-tube. Obviously, you can't go IV, but uh, you can get these eggs in milk 
through his G tube, get our our um, uh, Slider FX meal replacer. It's only a buck fifteen, a dollar fifteen per meal. So you know, it's not like it's very expensive. But make it with heavy whipping cream. There's good milk products and whipping cream and cheese and all that kind of stuff there in Germany. You can do that. And then um, I want him to have uh, two healthy heart and brain packs per month. That will allow him to have um, two of our selenium three times a day, open up the capsules and put them in all this fluid he's getting through the nasal gastric tube or the G-tube, a tablespoon, which is a half ounce, of our Osu FX Plus four times a day, also through that G-tube or the nasal gastric tube. I want him to have uh, one scoop of the Beyond Tan Tangerine. I, I'd go with the 2.0 and give him uh, one, one scoop four times a day. It'll be done with the two of those. He needs three of the EFA pluses twice a day, or he could have two three times a day. You need to puncture those and squeeze them in the liquid that goes in his nasogastric tube or G-tube. And then uh, call me every couple of weeks um, and let me know how this guy's doing because uh, we want to we wanna keep him around. He's a classic fellow, and we just love him. And... Um, I know we can help him. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention, Godfrey. Together, I think we can save this guy. We'll be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Young Jimmy Way after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach for Young Jimmy here in the 90 for Life Crusade. And, Billy, let's go to callers. All right, Doc, let's head to Minnesota and Daisy. You're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Daisy, you're on the air. Yes, um, hello, Dr. Joel Wallach. Um, I saw your video over Dr. Benny Ministries, and I was really compelled to share this video to a friend of mine in the Philippines. Um, she has a seven-year-old daughter that okay. was diagnosed last month. Um, with acute myeloid leukemia, and she weighs 42 pounds. And um, so the doctors diagnosed that and want her to go through chemotherapy or bone marrow transplant, but then the parents chose not to do that because of the chances of survival. And um, so they go through modified diet and um, some supplements. But then when she watched the video, um, she didn't know that she's giving her daughter the barley and oats. And so she was educated from your video about the gluten-free diet. So. Mm -hmm. Good. And so okay. she wants, I'm sorry. I was going to say, okay, well, let's see if we can help this family. And uh, okay. basically, if they've chosen not to do the chemotherapy and bone marrow transplant, of course, certain types of leukemia do not respond to those things very well. And um, uh, there is a high rate of uh, failure of that treatment, okay? And so um, they've chosen to go a different direction. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so they've already made that decision, so we're going to help them all we can. So at 42 pounds, what I would do is um, get the um, uh, 2.0. The um, and It's easy to ship to the Philippines, okay, because it's, it's powder. It would be the... Um, uh, Beyond Tan Tangerine 2.0 sticks. It, it comes 30 in a box, so it'd be one box per month for this child. And um, so I'd go ahead and have them get like four or five or six boxes at a time, so they don't run out. And that child should have uh, one of those sticks a day. Tear open the top, put in a little bottle of water, and uh, that would be for um, a seven-year-old child. Um, use a 12-ounce bottle of water. Uh, let her drink a couple ounces. Put the contents of that stick in there, shake it up real good, and have her uh, take um, also in that same bottle um, a tablespoon uh, of our cherry mints in there. She can put a tablespoon of cherry mints, uh, which uh, has 77 minerals in it and black cherry extract for tape, make it tasty. I'd also give her a tablespoon of our Osteo FX Plus, and that actually can come in also powder. All right, that'll come in powder. And mix that all up. And uh, in fact, you give her the um, capsules of the minerals. It's called um, mineral caps. It'd be easier to ship than the um, cherry mints. 
and they're tasteless. And so you just open up those capsules. Just give her one of those capsules a day, open it up, put it in that same drink, and she can sip on that through the day. So it might take her three or four or five or six hours to get through that whole bottle during the day. Um, That's fine. Um, And then do that every day. I'd also get her uh, one of our bottles of our Ultimate Selenium and have her take uh, two of those selenium capsules per day, one in the morning with breakfast, one in the morning with evening. And she's seven years old, and she's able to swallow those. These are little sort of silvery uh, capsules, very small, so it would be easy for her to swallow. Uh, if she can't, she can open them up and put it, put the contents, a little tablespoon of uh, applesauce, easy for kids to get it down. And then I would also have her take uh, what we call Z-radical. And Z-radical... Um, again, is a uh, blend of super juices, and also it has the Z radical in it. And Z radical is the fucoidin, which is the extract of this um, red um, <clears throat> uh, marine seaweed off the shores of Tasmania, which is not too far away from the Philippines, by the way. They may be familiar with the uh, fucoidin. It comes from this red marine algae. And I'd have her take a tablespoon of this Z radical twice a day, be one bottle a month. And then keep keep us in touch. To keep her away from all the bad stuff. You know the bad stuff. Keep her away from that, Daisy. And call us anytime you need to, but don't wait longer than two weeks to give us an update. Well, thank you, everybody. Really great questions and testimony today. Thank you much, so much, Char. Super job. Uh, thank you so much, Billy and Richard. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America. 